San Diego County, very large. We encompass over 2,000 miles of roadway. We have over 200 signals, and every year we're adding probably about four or five to that number. And so it's challenging when you have such a large area when you're talking about technology. When you have such outlying areas, to get into a vehicle and drive out there every time you need to make a change to the signal or check the timing, it's very difficult and it's very time consuming. So one of the main things we wanted to have is the ability to control the signals and can change the timing remotely. Next Tech is our primary point of contact for equipment. Yeah, so Next Tech, uh, they're good to work with. The installs go smoothly because of their tech support. Any questions, they reply uh, very quickly. And so we came to them with how do we get communications back to the county? And so they brought this to our attention as far as AI goes. We've got them in about 50 locations. One of the great things about it is I can be at home, I can be on the road, I open up my laptop, I get on a cloud-based system and I can see my signals. And I can see various things within the signal. I can see video coming back what our battery levels look like, whether or not a door is opened or closed, the temperature. I could log in, see if the camera's dirty. If it's dirty, it can place a false call. It just helps a lot. It's really nice to have a one-stop shop to go to to get all this information about what's happening in the field. One of the things that uh, instantly kind of springs to mind is we have the need to change signal timing for an event. For example, we have a location that's next to a church and on Easter, they need some tweaks done. So instead of getting into a vehicle and driving all the way out to the site and making this change, we're able to open up our laptop and within a couple of minutes, the signal timing is modified. One of the things about AI is that they are able to integrate even with their older controllers. And so we're integrating them with controllers that have been in the field 50 years, in addition to controllers that have been installed in the past five months. And so it's nice that we don't have to upgrade everything at once. We do eventually want to go to the 2070 so that we can utilize all the information that AI can pull from it. That being said, we're still able to install these at locations that have been sitting and operating for a significant period of time. The ability to share what's going on in our systems when you're adjacent to an intersection that is maybe run by the city of San Diego or the city of Santee, I think that's important and I think we're going to continue to move towards that, not only easier for us as an agency, but also from a regional perspective. Connected vehicles is one of those hot topics as well. In San Diego County, I think before we really get to connected vehicles, we need to get our infrastructure ready for that. One of our priorities is to get new controllers that can actually connect to vehicles once it's there. The second part of that is the AI, is making sure we have the ability to take information from the signals and push it to vehicles. Get ready for green. Since the Innovation Council to actually deployment, it's been a wonderful experience. They're extremely hands-on. They even came out from Atlanta and went through a series of installs with us so that we would have a better understanding of how the install process should go and how the deployment should actually look. Like I said, we need to have the ability to do our job even when we're not in our offices.